Remember our last video where we talked about Japanese grapes and what makes them so special? It turns out that there's more juicy sweetness to be found in Japan. And you will find it in the world's most expensive watermelon. The Japanese black watermelon is so full of goodness that it costs over $6,000. Really? How is the Japanese black watermelon cultivated? And why is it so expensive? Join us as we discuss the rich goodness of the Japanese black watermelon. The flavor is unmatched. Its sweetness would make you roll your eyes backward. The Japanese black watermelon is truly a delight. It is distinguished by being extremely red and crisp with about the same consistency as our watermelons but with very few seeds. All this goodness is protected by tough skin with a very dark green hue that can occasionally appear black and glossy. But it's only on the northern island of Hokkaido that this Japanese watermelon grows. Outside of Japan, the Densuke watermelon is not yet commonly grown. But the seeds are starting to be sold commercially in Europe and America. Of the more than 1200 varieties of watermelon grown around the world, None is more expensive or more sought after than the famous Densuke Black Watermelon. The Japanese Black Watermelon or Densuke is recognized as one of the rarest watermelons in the world because it can only be grown in small amounts that hardly reach 100 per year on the northern island of Hokkaido. So it's not the kind of fruit you would often find at markets or grocery stores. Instead, it's found at huge ceremonies or as a very special gift. The few fruits that are available each year are auctioned off to the highest bidder for hundreds or even thousands of dollars. Due to COVID-19 outbreak, prices have decreased over the past few years but the black watermelon type is still by far the most expensive fruit available anywhere in the world. And those who were fortunate enough to try the fruit have confirmed that it is superior to other watermelons in flavor. Aside from their rarity and outstanding flavor as reasons why they are so expensive, it's important to note that the final cost of the Japanese black watermelon also reflects the amount of time and effort put into their cultivation. Densuke watermelons can typically purchase for prices starting at around $200 per fruit, which in most countries is still an outrageous amount to pay for a single fruit. And it's usually the first few lots of the annual crop that yield the highest prices at fruit auctions. A few years ago in Japan, one of these uncommon and exquisite watermelons sold for 750,000 yen, or $6,100. The black gigantic watermelon was auctioned off in northern Japan in 2008. According to Kazuyoshi Ohira, a representative for the Toma Agricultural Cooperative in Hokkaido, this is the highest price on record for a Densuke watermelon, and that probably implies it's the highest of any watermelon in Japanese history. Ohira remarked, It's a watermelon, but it's not the same. It is sweeter to a different extent. Did you know that a pair of Yubari cantaloupe melons were sold as a luxury commodity for a record $23,500? These are the Rolls Royce of fruits. The packaging for the Japanese black watermelon reflects its hefty price tag and is specifically compared to Italian customs. It is provided in a classy cubic cardboard box with padding to prevent denting and also comes with a certificate of origin because it's crucial to provide confirmation of authenticity. They also need to be cared for and maintained for several months before they can be sold. Due to this, as well as the fact that this is a fruit that requires a lot of care and attention to grow, you don't expect the fruits to come cheap. The final price of this fruit reflects the effort and time put into cultivating it. In order to understand how these watermelons are grown by amateurs, it's important to understand that they generally take up a lot of room and are not easily nested in many gardens. The large size and the juicy, delicious flesh of Japanese black watermelons are distinctive characteristics that makes both large commercial farms and backyard gardens eager to plant this heirloom type. The flesh of the deep blue green black melons is a rich scarlet color. They frequently do not have the distinctive stripes of more well-known watermelon cultivars. The melons need a long growing season to yield full fruit, and they can easily weigh up to 50 pounds. So how do you take care of them? 
These big, sweet melons can take around 90 days to mature, and they require a lot of water and sunlight to stay robust and healthy. These vines, which can reach a maximum length of 20 feet, function best when allowed to trail down the ground. But trellising is not advised because of the fruit's enormous weight. By resting the fruit on a piece of wood or cardboard to help keep them dry as they ripen, you can prevent rot and soft patches when growing watermelons on the ground. Make sure you check for ripeness indicators on fruits before you harvest them. Verify the tendrils connecting the melons to the plant. While tendrils near an unripe melon are still green, those near a mature melon will be dry and brown. Check the melon's rind as well. The rind needs to be quite tough, and the area that was lying on the ground ought to be creamy in color. So how much light should the Densuke get? Light. The Japanese black watermelon needs a lot of sunlight, just like all the other melons need. For these plants to continue developing healthily, they need at least 6 to 8 hours every day. The black watermelons thrive in organically rich soil. They favor warm, moist, slightly acidic to neutral soil environments with good drainage. Under the vines and fruits, a layer of organic mulch like straw will help keep the soil moist. Water Since watermelons are among the juiciest fruits available, it's not surprising that they require regular water. Keep the ground wet but not drenched. Remember that it is with routine watering that the plants will remain healthy. Water the vines where they are rooted in the ground, but try to keep the leaves dry to prevent fungal issues. Only water the melons when the soil starts to dry out. This usually happens once the melons have reached the size of a tennis ball. Stop watering the fruit two weeks prior to its ripeness to raise its sugar content. Yes, that's how it's done. Temperature and Humidity These melons do not do well in cold climates and prefer warm ones. That's why Japan is perfect, but if you have the resources to simulate Japanese climate conditions, be my guest! Although extremely high humidity can result in fungus issues, the Japanese black watermelon loves damp environments with rich soil. Fertilizer The black watermelons thrive in organically rich soil and love it. Before planting, enhance the soil with a lot of compost to make sure these melons have access to the nutrients they require. When flowers start to bloom, fertilizer can be applied to aid in promoting healthy fruit production. When a plant is first growing, it's best to use fertilizer with a nitrogen-based formula. Once the plant begins to bloom, you should switch the fertilizer with phosphorus and potassium-based formulas. But when you want to plant, it's best to start the seeds indoors for about a month before the last frost because these sweet melons take some time to mature. Here's how to get started. With the seeds starting, plant the seeds quarter inch deep. Keep the ground warm and moist. Keep the soil at 70 degrees Fahrenheit or above to promote greater seed germination. Although a humidity dome will be helpful, it should be taken off as soon as seedlings appear. Reduce watering once seedlings emerge. Reduce watering once more when seedlings develop their first true leaves. Start the hardening off process as soon as the weather warms up so that the seedlings can be placed in the garden. These melons can be put immediately into the garden in regions with lengthy, hot growing seasons. Then take these steps. Plant the seeds in fertile, wet, well-draining soil two weeks after the last frost to a depth of one inch. Bury the seeds in soil. The mounding strategy works well with growing melons as well. Make a mound of soil that is 3 to 4 inches high and 1 foot in circumference. 3 to 5 seeds should be pressed into the mound's soil about an inch deep. Once seedlings have emerged, thin to 2 or 3 plants. Don't forget to maintain soil moisture. It doesn't end there of course, you also have to watch out for pests and diseases. The most frequent pests to watch out for when growing black diamond watermelons including melon aphids, cucumber beetles, squash bugs, and squash vine borers. This plant is susceptible to fungal diseases like powdery mildew, alternaria leaf spot, stem blight, and downy mildew. It is preferable to stay away from planting melons where squash or cucurbits plants were grown the year before. That's the amount of dedication you have to give in order to grow the most expensive watermelon in the world. Thank you for watching this video. 
Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more amazing videos like this. See you next time. Bye!